on stage for this new experience. <laughs> uh, okay, ihr kennt das. Ich fange immer mit einer kleinen Warming-up-Question an und dann würde ich mich aber auch sehr freuen, wenn ihr Kommentare und äh, Fragen stellt. So, I'm starting with a little, little warming-up-Question. Warm yeah, yes. warming um, so, um, what, what was first? What, were you inspired uh, or were you saying, I want to do a second screen movie? Or was it first the story and then you said, and I'm having this thriller made with a, you know what I mean, the, with yeah. this, as a second screen movie? Uh, yeah, no, it's very banal. It's just we it started with the fact that we wanted to make money. <laughs> <laughs> very simple. Uh, yeah, it's very. Uh, it's, uh, oh, uh, no, it's very simple. Uh, basically, I made a movie before this, and uh, the producer just asked me, uh, "Hey, uh, I think you have talent. I want to work with you again." Um, and he said to me, I want to make a movie for young people. Um, and then we started thinking, okay, what do young people do these days? Uh, well, they're all on their phone, even inside the movie theater. Everybody's Facebooking, everybody's WhatsApping. And we were like, well, fuck it, let's uh, make a movie. Uh, uh, or actually, we thought, wouldn't it be cool to make a movie about sort of a silly thing that turns evil against you? And he was like, yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's do it about an app, and then we uh, uh, we brainstormed. And first we thought, well, uh, and then we're gonna make some cheesy app that you can download, and um, and then we actually bumped into this technique. Oh, and then you, we actually bumped into this technique by a company called Sevolution, which is a, um, a former part of a company called Philips, um, which is from the Netherlands, where I'm from, um, and actually the technique that they have that is a technique that's used for uh, piracy purposes. So whenever they project a movie out of the projector, uh, there is a signal uh, from the DCP, and in every DCP uh, there is a hidden sort of information in the sound signal that if you're here with your illegal handicam and shooting an illegal copy, uh, they can actually see where you made that illegal copy, in which theater, at what time, and they sort of come and hunt you down and kill you. Uh, wow! No, uh, no, but they use that actually in, in Asia uh, for all the big illegal copiers. Uh, they, uh, they try to hunt these people down and, I don't know, maybe torture them. Um, so that technique actually already existed. Uh, but what we did was actually reverse the technique and, and use it for creative purposes. And um, yeah, and what was your question again? Sorry. <laughs> you answered it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Gibt's Kommentare? Wie war das denn jetzt für euch? How, how was it to see you? Anybody yeah. questions? Yeah, yeah. There are no questions, just comments. Uh, I oh, to... shit. <laughs> <laughs> comments. I didn't watch it for the app, so uh, okay. I don't know words, but I, I loved your uh, main actor. Thank you. Uh, she was amazing, and I love the way how she, you know, kicked ass. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny because she wasn't. She's actually an art house actress in the Netherlands, and um, she won the, which is called the Golden Calf. It's not like the. It's sort of the Oscar of the, of the Netherlands, um, but she's she's this art house queen, and she. Uh, she was really used to shooting nude scenes and stuff, but she wasn't used to kicking ass. And um, and that was a whole process that we had to work with her. Um, but yeah, she's beautiful, and I didn't sleep with her yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hope one day. Facebook, Facebook. <laughs> so, yeah. möchte jemand noch was uh, sagen? Eine Frage? Anyone? Don't be shy. Yeah. You. Like a spoiler? Like a spoiler? Yeah. It, uh, yeah, it's, 
what was the decision to do it um, was that uh, you want to have the honest answer or you want to have the bullshit marketing answer? Both. <laughs> yeah, both. <laughs> Alright, let me think. Uh, the bullshit the bullshit marketing answer is that uh, you want to have something that's important um, on the second screen and that really is part of a bigger experience. The real answer is that my producer forced me into it. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's sort of it. What? Um, yeah, that, until this day, that's still a question that I can't answer. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Is it going to be a technique in uh, Photoshop or something like that? Or is it only in one, one movie project with a smartphone? Uh, no, actually, um, I know in Korea they're now doing a, a big Korean movie with this. Uh, technology and actually I was just talking to the people from the festival we sold the remake rights to uh, the production company of Die Hard uh, and they're probably going to do the US remake so in, and I just told them you're all invited to one house in Hollywood if they remake it uh, but it's uh, no, they uh, they're working on the on the script right now in Hollywood, and um, and it's real interesting. I hope to to see it, uh, and then they're probably going to make it for a lot more money. Um, and I hope to see see it come back, and, and then they yeah they do it again in in app, but then the U.S. version of it. Go ahead. No I, no, I don't think it's it's just a gimmick, uh, although I can't deny that it really helped us in marketing. Um, but uh, I do believe that cinemas in one form or another have to evaluate in how people are going to go through the theater because we all have big screen TVs at home, we all have good sound systems at home, we all watch movies on our iPad or on our laptop. So. I, I do think that theaters have to evaluate, and I was three weeks ago I was in LA and they had, in the Universe Studios and they have the King Kong ride and everything is shaking and the chairs are moving and lighting effects and shit comes underneath your chairs on. And I, I do think that that is going to be the, at least for one, uh, one theater in every city that sort of has that experience or offers that experience. Um, because DVDs are gonna gonna go away, um, but at the same time, you shouldn't do this with a second century or 16th century costume drama because that's totally not gonna work. So that's my answer. Go. Cool. Uh, shit, I feel really stupid because I haven't seen that movie. Okay, so it's a it's shit, and it's probably... Uh, so it's not uh, No, it, it's, it's like exactly the same or something? Not exactly, but half of the movie is uh, kind of... You shit, I should watch that. Awesome, I'll, I'll watch it. No, but to be completely honest, I, I, I didn't, once we came up with the idea, okay, or once we got the, the introduction to the companies that were going to do this whole technology thing, I wasn't sure if it was going to work, so I was already sort of in pre-production, and I was like, well, I'm not sure how this is going to work, so I'll just keep on focusing making the movie. Uh, and then I think two weeks before we started shooting, they actually showed me the technology and that it worked. And I thought, well, it's going to be something like Shazam, and then it's going to be, you have to wait for six seconds for the signal to come back. It's totally not going to work. 
And then they showed me something that it that it was frame accurate. Um, and then we during during the two weeks that we had left in pre-production, we started to write little scripts and little things uh, that we uh, that we could use. And then also during the process of making the film, and especially also in the editing uh, trajectory, uh, we c came up with some new things because actually. Whenever you work with second screen, that's the hardest thing is the editing because you really have to work picture in picture because you have to figure out how long it takes for your eyes to go from the big screen to the small screen. And uh, at the same time, you don't want everybody to miss important plot points. So what, in consequence of that, what happened is that we had to edit certain scenes a little bit longer for six, seven seconds longer so that your eyes were able to go back and forth from one screen to the other. And another thing that happens once you make a second screen film is that you have to submit the app to all the app stores, to the Google Play and to the, to the, to the app store of Apple. And as in, uh, what happens because of that is that it suddenly takes out six weeks of your post-production schedule because it takes fucking Apple to decide for six weeks before they approve an app. Uh, and they're like, my producers only <laughs> came up to me and said, like, yeah, sorry, you have six weeks less post-production time. Um, so, uh, if anybody's going to make a second screen movie, be aware of that. Make, take six, six weeks extra on your schedule. Anybody else? Yeah. Um, and I, th uh, yeah, they they do like it, and uh, and everybody is is of course uh, very interested in new things, and um, and that's why I really hope that they're going to do the U.S. remake because if you have, we produced this movie pretty quickly uh, because we had a set deadline for the theater, and uh, uh, and I think if you have more money, if you have ten, fifteen million dollars, of course you can do it way better. Um, and I think that's that's going to be interesting because you're going to you're you're going to be able to do so much more technological, for instance, interactive stuff or GPS stuff, uh, or the app talking to you or being confronted with that before you actually enter the theater or once you get out. For instance, you go to bed tonight and suddenly at four o'clock the app comes back. <laughs> uh, I think that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that would be fucking awesome. And then it calls out for your name, it's like, buy another ticket! <laughs> um, so, and, but we just didn't have the time and the money to, uh, to do all of that, because that's, that's, but I think that's going to be the next step, in, uh, especially if they're, they're going to do the remake. Uh, that's really entertaining. Go ahead. How does he walk? How does he recover? Yeah, we never actually tell that. <laughs> so, it just happened. <laughs> but you're completely right. <laughs> it's entertainment, man. <laughs> It's, it's not our house, sorry. But no, you're completely right. We never, we never tell that. It, it's, uh, um, and honestly, I couldn't give you an answer to it. In the U.S. version, they're all are going to explain everything. That's how Americans are. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you for uh, staying.